morning melbourne breakfast with jesus team this is a testimony of my niece my niece shannon fell down from the fourth floor on 28th february 2021 when she was playing she slipped and she fell down from the fourth floor she was taken to the hospital in the uh, unconscious condition was admitted in the icu where she was bleeding fully doctor visited the uh, my my niece and they said that she will be paralyzed for lifetime and she will like be like a vegetable to their surprise the same doctors who said that she will she will be paralyzed for her entire life and she will be a vegetable when they saw the uh, x-ray and the other reports they could not see a single scratch on her backbone and the skull was not damaged other than the thighs thigh bone was crushed the ankle was crushed and one of the uh, shoulder joint where the cup was removed outside other than that she was not having any other problem even there was no internal bleeding she had to gone through certain surgeries so that they can implant some rods wherever it is possible and she was there for in the hospital for one month and after one month she came back home as she was going for the regular checkup the doctor said uh, she will take long at least one and a half to two years to come to a normal way of walking using using a walker as for their surprise when they went for the second uh, uh, time for the op- uh, second time for the uh, checkups they could see my niece shannon walking even without the walker she celebrated her 14th birthday and on that time the same doctors who had warned that she will be not able to sit down she will not able to stand she will not able to walk on a birthday she celebrated her birthday with the friends who came home doing all the thing that she was doing before this incident had happened and 3 uh, days before the jo- bones bones can come together you know this is a god's miracle sometimes it happens when doctor say doctor say this is not possible this she will be a uh, what you say she will be a vegetable the same doctor the same doctor started saying this is really the work of god and this is a miracle where we expected that she will be never standing or be nor will not be normal till to end at one and a half to two years today it's around sixth month going on and she can walk without the walker praise god and his journey on this journey she shannon is doing all the things a normal girl child could do doing her doing her studies reading her bible and everything she is doing on her own other than sometimes she will be having certain problems praise god for that on this journey from accident to recovery sister fatima from bangalore and sister janet from dubai they were very uh, you know uh, they were uh, with me sending scriptures and they were saying this is what you need to say this is what you need to do this is what you need to do as i was i have been uh, regular watching melbourne uh, breakfast with jesus i exactly said what they told and whatever i was learning the uh, things that you want to see you need to believe you need to declare and you need to imagine i did the same thing with my sister and she started doing everything i was telling her and these two warriors from jcilm that is for sister fatima from bangalore and sister janet from dubai instructed me to do every message i started forwarding her and i was speaking to her on a regular basis not to give up on fear rather declare that shannon is already healed and she's walking without any support today my sister says that 
because of the faith journey that she has continued in trusting the lord and uh, putting the trust in the scriptures today her daughter is able to walk is able to run she is able to do everything that she is supposed to be done i thank these two warriors sister fatima and sister janan from dubai sister fatima from bangalore who were with me in this journey and i thank god and the holy spirit guiding these two warriors who were in touch with me in every part of this journey from accident to recovery god bless them during this time these were the scriptures i used to meditate one thing i used to confess i used to declare i used to believe and also my sister was declaring with shannon there that is 1 peter 224 luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19 where i where i asked her to say the spirit of the lord is upon me spirit of the spirit of the lord is upon shannon spirit of the lord is upon the doctors he has filled us with his love and he has set us free then psalm 97:5 in presence of the lord mountain melt like wax matthew chapter 18 verses 19 and 20 mark 11:22 to 25 and prayer for concerning worries and fear in the, these were the scriptures which i you which i was meditating even i was asking my sister to say the same thing thank you uh, sister fatima from bangalore and sister jana from uh, dubai for being with me and being with me with my sister and with my niece from the incident of accident to restoration to recovery god bless you have a wonderful day bye praise god thank you jesus this is the picture of hers when she was taken to the hospital praise god mm. this is her picture when she started walking praise god she got up thank you jesus this is a birthday picture Thank Praise you Jesus. God. Thank you Jesus. Praise God. Amazing. Thank you Jesus. Truly our God is a true and a living God. Praise God. Thank you Jesus.